per request. Let's go ahead and go over the possibilities for AMC. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with an AMC technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this fine Monday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, so we're going to start off with the statistics first. Okay, so what we're looking at here is volatility represented by this indicator BBWP and uh, volatility is direction neutral so we pair this with stochastic momentum or a momentum based indicator so we can get that bias for direction okay so in this case we're going to use stochastic momentum which is proprietary to trading view software which is the platform that i'm on okay so i actually ran a back test of volatility versus momentum throughout the entire trading history of the amc asset on the daily chart as you can see these are all of my notes here OK, so um, what this is basically telling me is, is that we do have an upside uh, actually freshly brewed and the signal just fired today. OK, so in, in this statistical uh, back test is actually something that I've, I've been asked for several times. Right. So uh, I actually got it down. OK, so, yeah, we're looking at here uh, the daily chart and on the daily chart, we have a total of 48 iterations of which 27 were correct, uh, correctly guessed to the upside, um, giving us an averaged upside accuracy of 56.25% with an averaged upside thrust of about 44.69%. Uh, okay, so that's uh, upon the firing of this signal here. So what is that criteria? So we actually need for volatility, the spectrum component and the moving average to both be within the critical volatility zone, which I consider to be anything within the 15 percentile of contraction and volatility. OK, so we, as you can see, we actually dove right into that contraction. The moving average finally made the inside of that uh, of that critical volatility zone. And then we actually started making that bounce to the upside. So this is a signal that essentially was uh, combined by the end of the day. Uh, uh, Friday and today so that signal is officially fired okay so now what could we be facing now so what is that upside telling us so 44 spot six nine percent from our current position meaning from the opening of the candle that we actually printed today right of right over here so it could be you can see the metrics of the candles right up here okay so uh, and I urge you to stick around for this video because there are things here that I'm sure you haven't known before. And I promise you, <laughs> I can show you some things that you've never seen before. Okay, so this is uh, this candle is opening at six dollars and thirty one cents. So let's go ahead and just put our cursor right at that six thirty one zone. There we go, and measure forty four spot six nine percent to the upside. Okay, okay. So let's uh, let's uh, take a look at what it's gonna do us uh, do for us. Sorry about that. So uh, 44 spot six, nine percent is this is close enough. OK, so it's taking us to about 913, which is actually this candle's high. Uh, that was uh, 915. So very, very curious that, would, that it would actually take us right to that uh, right to that candle top. OK, so, <laughs> so I, I actually I like it. I like it. OK, so. Another another little thing that I mean, I hate I hate I hate mentioning this right here, but please focus on this uh, potential here. OK, so we're looking at we're looking at a, <laughs> a stupid cup and handle here. OK, so just know that I don't like this formation because it doesn't have such a good hit rate. Right. So we're going to go ahead and just note it like that. Right. And then we're, we'll make our uh, uh, we'll make our 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 uh handle right over here right so this is essentially what you're looking at so the top side of the uh, of the handle would essentially be right at about uh actually we can make a quick correction here let's see oh yeah that's right actually it would be that the top of this wick to the closing of this candle so so that would be our top side so let's go ahead and just uh make a quick little adjustment here and move it to move it to that upside right so right at about here and then this will put it right to that uh closing of that candle perfect okay so now to gain a price objective on this which i i assume is i assume is going to be uh, a little higher of course but we take a trend line from the top of the uh, from the top of the cup and uh, we apply it to the very lower end of the cup and then we can apply 
that trend line that we just drew to the top of the of the handle okay so in this case you can actually see that it's taking us to a very very similar target so now we have some we ha we have rhyming here okay so now we can actually take from our statistical upside to the psychological upside we can actually take a range of resistance okay so then this in this case now you can see that this would be essentially the area that we should be reaching within about a few days okay if, if not sooner right so now let's continue on with other very very interesting things here okay so i have caught uh the fact that we are in a massive ascending channel here and I, I have to express I have to express some type of uh, uh, CEOS. I'm not sure if anyone's following that, but CEOS is also in something similar, and this would be in respects to the five day iteration on uh, on this on this uh, I'm sorry on this chart, right? So we I actually started tracking CEOS when we were down here, and it has since made a, a monumental move to the upside since we faced that support. And if you uh, take a look at AMC, <laughs> five day chart, <laughs> right? And we're in this huge channel, and and this bottom, the, the bottom side right over here, actually matches the bottom side from January fourth, twenty twenty one, right before that rip. Okay, so I just I just want to point out that we're right at that zone. Okay, so very important things to to take into consideration here. Okay, this is this was uh, I I can't I can't even I can't even like believe that we we would be actually following this type of uh this type of price action, right? But what you're what you're looking at here is another. <laughs> cup and handle except on a five day right so this it, it just goes to show us to how versatile this thing can be right so and and i hate the fact that it's a cup and handle right so this is essentially one large uh, uh just iteration of this of this uh or accumulation period right so this is essentially it right here okay so now again take that trend line from the top of the cup right to the bottom of the side of the area and apply it to the top of the handle and you can see that the price action took us right to where we reached that seventy dollar level. Of course, now after the you know post split, it's forty four sixty one, but it it suggested that top side, right? Another interesting thing here is is the fact that if we take a Fibonacci ratio, um, you know from from the from from this wick high to the very lowest point of the cup. You can actually see that we went right to the three spot six one eight golden fib. Okay, so the six one eight fibs are amongst the most important Fibonacci ratios that we actually have to reach. What is that telling us? So that is telling us that AMC is respecting market geometry, and we are moving in a geometrical, uh, per se, geometrical Brownian motion. Okay, so it's it's looking good. What what I'm saying is is that we potentially have found a, a floor right and now and now we are moving to the upside let's move on now okay because this is a very complex uh this is a very complex chart and i'm not gonna lie so we are in a buy formation here this is a broadening descending wedge in a very large scale and in a smaller scale uh particular to the daily chart you know we, we can go ahead and just scooch to the daily and now you can see that we're in that same thing OK, now another thing to point is that that broadening descending channel in the smaller time frame is actually practicing that 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 same cup that we are actually looking at, you know, in a very small uh, manner here. It was actually th this this huge cup over here before the run up in June. It's in a smaller scale happening here. Right. And a uh, very interesting thing here is, is that. The breakout, the breakout out of this uh, formation is playing the golden rule of three very well. If you if you watch my channel often, you'll know what I'm talking about. So you're looking at test number one, two, three, and then the true breakout test number four. We've already come back to test that the, the support into, I'm sorry, the newly converted resistance into support a couple times before a continuation to the upside. The target per the per this uh, cup and handle is taking us right to the resistance of the larger scale. Uh, of the larger scale broadening descending wedge. So let's just go ahead and refer back to the five day. So it's taking us right to that resistance. And why is it important that it's taking us to the resistance of this channel? 
first of all, because number four test, the true breakout test number four is the is the usual uh, uh, breakout point for this, and it, and it and it actually presents a macro reversal in general. The, the fact that it's giving us that breakout number four upon touching the the bottom side of this massive channel, and also the fact that we floored here just below this channel and we reclaimed it it makes it it makes the test number five of this larger formation be realized it's it's the second most likely breakout point too we have test number one two three four fake out and then that test number five is about to happen and the the cup is taking us to that target as well now the general rule of, i'm talking about playbook rules here of how to trade a broadening descending wedge is actually finding finding the genesis of the formation and that it's, it's t that's per i mean I'm, I'm i mean look look at this okay look at ceos this is broadening descending wedge this was the genesis right over here came right to it okay and then we pulled back and then we continued on to the upside so that's essentially what i'm looking at here for amc Okay, so I'm I'm essentially saying that we could reach this uh, thirty nine, uh, maybe forty dollar level within. I'm talking about near the all time highs. It's it on it's on a five day chart. So if we're following just playbook rules here, this can take weeks. You know what I mean? But we're on an upside uh, n nonetheless. What can invalidate weeks is actually FOMO, psychological components, which can actually pressure this to the upside nonetheless. Okay, so. Now, we remember that the take profit zone of this smaller broadening descending wedge is located at 1079. Why is it so curious? Well, it's very curious that it's 1079 because it's breaking out on test number five of the larger channel. And, and it would essentially say that we need to pull back, come back to about $8.88 or 889, validate this newly converted resistance into support, then start that trek all the way up to $40.03. If we were to respect what the top side of this channel is doing, because now with the touch that we just got a few days ago, uh, I'm talking about, uh, let's see, January 25th this year, that touch validates that we're in this formation. Okay, so the top side of this would essentially be about 191.38 <laughs> all right so it's a little silly to say that i just, I just want to you know i just want to be utterly clear that it's it's it feels weird to say that but nonetheless it's still being suggested on a geometric level okay that that top side is 191.38 which just so happens to land right at that resistance of our uh, ascending channel and it would essentially be june 20th <laughs> if 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 we were to continue june 20th okay very curious target why because it was very close to the top side of what we did here this was may 27th 2021 so we're <laughs> we're just we're just under a month from that you know so it's very 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 similar very similar in fact if even if we were to push this to may tw uh, may 26 2023 it's just a few days before that right so <laughs> Uh, in this case, it would suggest that the target would be right in between the four spot 236 at about 183.23, between, between the four spot 236 at 175.86 and the four spot 618 at 191.38, which is also very probable. And, and it's, it's the time, the time fractal is, is a little weird. And I do not like to practice fractals, by the way. Fractal analysis for me, it's a huge guess. And, uh, also it's, uh, I mean... Uh, what makes you think that a computer that's a quantum computer like these hedge funds have, what makes you think that it's going to repeat an algo over and over and over? The thing has massive power to create whatever it wants in the world. You know, so nah, the fractal analysis to me is just it's, uh, it's garbage. But that is essentially what I'm looking at for AMC here. And uh, based on mathematical probabilities, based on geometric levels, based on math is what I'm talking about here. Okay, you guys. So uh, just know that that is essentially what I'm looking at for AMC. But I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos is just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. Okay, you guys, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be just fine. But with that said, I wish you well, a very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.